Hello everyone and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Cassie, Claire Sweeney, Return to Evelyn Plummer's Maureen Lippman. Life on Coronation Street and things were uncomfortable to say the least. Cassie's first narrative saw her find that her mother Evelyn had been living with Tyrone Dobbs, Alan Hulsall, and his family for years. Evelyn was hesitant to bring Cassie to the Stape slash Dobbs family because of her daughter's drug background. Nonetheless, she had other plans. Making her way to Weatherfield, erratic Cassie ran upon Tyrone and introduced herself as his mother. Tyrone was startled because he had always believed his birth mother had deceased. Tyrone struggled to quit narcotics and was hospitalized after Hope, Isabella Flanagan, discovered her on the floor outside. Cassie has gradually demonstrated to her family that, despite her faults, she values developing ties with her loved ones. Evelyn's daughter's positive change is on her mind in the following episodes, so she decides to cook lunch and buy Cassie a drink. Cassie is perplexed by the behavior, but later in the pub, she makes significant progress by raising a toast with her mother and agreeing to put the past behind them. It's a watershed moment, but will Cassie continue to cause trouble? Or will this be the end of things? Ai has offered its opinion on the future of Coronation Street's Paul Foreman, and as his death approaches, the fan favorite could return to the renowned cobbles as a spirit. Ai has stated that Paul Foreman's return to Coronation Street as a ghost is always possible. Paul has had motor neuron disease for nearly a year, and despite his efforts to make the best of the situation, his health is deteriorating. Paul, portrayed by actor Peter Ash, also heard from medical authorities that he only has a few months to live. However, as Paul's situation worsens, AI has speculated that the fan favorite may make an epic comeback as a spirit. Although it has not been done previously, A feels it is likely. It stated, while a ghostly return is unusual on Coronation Street, a dramatic twist is always possible in soap operas. However, there is no indication that the writers want to go in this manner. In fact, there was recent news in January 2024 that actor Peter Ash, who plays Paul, hinted that his character's story isn't quite over. This predicts a more typical comeback from Paul, probably following a period of recuperation from his sickness, the technological software stated. It said, of course, plots can alter, and everything is possible in the realm of soap operas. So while a ghostly reappearance seemed improbable at this time, you never know what the future holds on the cobbles. According to Coronation Street spoilers, Paul will receive more awful news. Paul's therapist will inform Paul and his mother Bernie that his speech and ability to eat solid foods have decreased. The therapist then proposes that he consider using a feeding tube to help him digest food. Following the upsetting news, Paul and Bernie return home and inform him that he is no longer able to eat solid food due to the risk of choking. However, Paul promises his husband Billy and Summer that if they liquidize his meals, he would be able to digest it properly. Later, Billy, Summer, Bernie, and Todd Grimshaw eat their lovely roast supper as Paul prepares his bowl of pureed food. In a heartfelt Facebook post, Actor Will Meller announced that it has been 25 years since his first date with wife Michelle. Will Meller from Coronation Street celebrated a memorable anniversary with his wife, Michelle, and his admirers are all saying the same thing. The 47-year-old shared a heartwarming throwback photo of the couple from their first meeting in 1999. He then posted a more recent selfie of the pair next to it, demonstrating how they have grown together over the years. The actor stated, we had our first date 25 years ago. I couldn't be happier 25 years later. Thousands of followers responded on the post, with the majority wishing the pair a happy anniversary. Many people commented that they believe the marriage has aged like fine wine. One fan commented, she looks younger today than she did 25 years ago. Somewhat another said, I was just thinking that looking at the picture I was damn, she's aged well. A third person said, she looks exactly the same as 25 years ago. And a fourth said, stunning then, today was flawless. Someone else said, she literally aged backwards. Another person stated, when you're happy, you never age. You were both stunning then and are even more beautiful now. Congrats. The pair met while performing in the theatrical musical Low, What a Night in 1999.
Will and dancer Michelle, who share two children, Jaden and Rennie, married in 2007, will also share charming photos from their family vacation in Lanzarote last month, including one day spent on a boat. Another video shows him spotting wild dolphins and relaxing on the beach with daughter Rennie. He captioned the photo dump about last week. I had a lovely week away with my family in Lanzarote. Hashtag family time. Will's tweet comes after he underwent lens replacement surgery after dealing with impaired eyesight his entire life, describing the process as life-changing. He explained the surgery to fans online, writing, Today is a big day for me. I'm at OCL Vision and I'm ready to undergo lens replacement surgery. I've had bad eyes my whole life, but since I turned 40, they've deteriorated dramatically and I now need glasses for almost everything. He went on to say, I considered laser eye surgery, but I can't have it because I have one short-sighted and one long-sighted eye, and they can only correct one or the other, so I'd still need glasses for reading or long distance, whereas lens replacement, if all goes well, will eliminate the need for glasses. So how fantastic is this? I'm nervous because it's my eyes, but I'm about to have surgery, so I'll let you know how it goes. I will meet you in a little. Will has subsequently disclosed that the treatment, which took only 20 minutes, was a success, and he hasn't had to use his glasses since. Claire Sweeney from Coronation Street has claimed that despite a run of unsuccessful romances, she is not in a hurry to find love again. The 52-year-old actress and singer claimed she hasn't gone on a date since Christmas and has taken solace in the fact that her grandmother didn't find the love of her life until she was 86. Claire's last long-term relationship was with Daniel Rayleigh, which ended in 2017. They have a kid named Jackson, who is eight years old. She has appeared in Legally Blonde and Educating Rita, but she is presently starring as Cassandra Plummer on Corey. Claire also appeared on the most recent season of Dancing on Ice and was eliminated as the third celebrity, alongside professional skater Colin Grafton. Claire has been encouraged in her long search for love by her grandmother, who she claims did not discover it until she was 86. The actress joked with the mirror's invite only. If I have to wait that long, so be it. No, I am not currently dating anyone. I mean, I'm quite satisfied and excited about what I'm doing. I have all the affection I desire from my son, all the attention I want at work, and I am financially comfortable, so I'm not seeking right now. She went on, I never used to worry this much, like 10, 15 years ago, and I believe it's certainly a menopause thing. You've witnessed your body rapidly transform in front of your own eyes, with things becoming wider. In December, Claire told Prima that she joined Dancing on Ice because I wanted to challenge myself. You get little vulnerabilities and anxieties with menopause and you start to lose your bottle as you get older, so I want to conquer some fears and get my confidence and chut spa back. It's going to be good for me. When I stepped onto the ice for the first time, I had this feeling of euphoria. It was such an adrenaline rush, I loved it. How great at 52 years of age. However, training was not without difficulty and Claire admitted she embarrassed herself in front of ice skating legends Jane Torville and Christopher Dean. She said, the first time I went on the ice, Torville and Dean were standing in the middle of this huge rink and there were cameras everywhere. I got a blow dry and was wearing bright blue because I thought it would stand out. But as I got on the ice I went flying, landed on my wrist and hurt it. I thought, if I can carry on with everyone looking at me, that will be a big accomplishment. So I got back up and kept skating for half an hour and was so proud of myself. Then I glanced in the mirror in the dressing room and saw that my leggings had ripped and my bum had been hanging out the whole time. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.